Come on, man. Come on, that's more like it. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. 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 It's uh, Saturday and I've come to Dave's because he's got a lot of birds uh, in the club race today. They've just liberated at 11 o'clock from Upper Hayford. So I'm going to watch them come in, hopefully in good speed. Um, at Dave's is this first race he missed last week. So this is his first race of the season. So, And it was telling me that most of his birds uh, barely got a look in last year because I think he had two races or three races. Um, so he's not expecting great things, but he's got a good view here and you can see them coming from miles. So... Uh, hopefully this will be a, a, a good day. should be coming from that direction where you can see the wind it's coming like that so they northeasterly and we're I think you've never gone through these traps where I'm walking off now right you can guarantee if I don't walk it off <laughs> which ones have you got your ETS pads on um, that one that one so they can go through yeah. either side of those they'll go through yeah the little one or the I, big one I, that's why I've lifted them up that's okay. where I want to no they can't go through that little one okay what's that coming there is that too Dave it's yours come on then. come on come on here come on what's it yep it's coming round come on come on then. Come on, kiddo. Come on. What did it say? Does it say it's clocked in? There's one above you. No oh, blimey! Come on! Come on! Oh, beauty! That's how you want them coming in, isn't it? No rings have arrived, oh, blimey heck. Right. Well, it's not beeping at all, is it? No. Everything's connected up. Yeah. That's annoying, isn't it? Well, all I want is that thing. I'll jump out and then they won't. Yeah. Yeah, that well, at least the numbers are good coming back so far, so. Well, it's uh, lunch time for the birds. Unfortunately, I, I went to Dave's earlier and unfortunately um, his clock wasn't working, so it looked like he timed some good 
he got some good times because from where we could see we where his loft is you can see pretty much every bird that flies onto that allotment and um, his was the first there that we could see anyway um, but unfortunately his clock wasn't working his um, unicorn clock so a bit of a shame I've made this um, trap for Colin uh, he's a chap in the pigeon club and I went round to his house the other day because on his trap which looks almost identical to this the bottom corners all rotted out and so he wanted me to replace just a piece of uh, plywood but when I looked at it the whole thing was pretty much rotten um, and he's getting on a bit so I don't think he can uh, make one of these himself I've never made one myself like this before actually so I just copied the design that he'd done and I've just given it a quick lick of paint which is um, it's just some plywood that I've had laying around and some other old bits of wood and so and some really old paint that when I opened it, it was full of half full of water, um, so it's all congealed. But you know, this is pigeon racing, isn't it? So it hasn't got to be uh, perfect. But uh, hopefully, I'll be quite pleased with that. I've done it to the same dimensions as what he had before. And basically, if I can get some, yeah, I use the paint. No, that's no good. What have I got? Uh, these pliers. Um, just hold the top there, and I've just touched that up afterwards. And so that piece of wood there, that counter balance or cantilever, whatever you want to call it, um, just means that you can open it and it's a nice flat landing board and you can have some bob wires across the back. There's just one more piece to put across the back, but I don't think I'll bother with that until I know exactly how I'm going to hang it. Um, I'll give it another coat. I've just given it a thick load of this gloop, um, but I think it should be all right. I've got, a, again, these hinges were like 50 pence each that I bought from... Uh, a shop just up the road and the screws are terrible so that one I rounded off that one I can't quite get in so um, it's not a, it's not a brilliant job but it's taken me about two hours to to make so far and paint so uh, I think it'll do a job Let's, I'll just put that nail there to so it doesn't dry shut um, but yeah hopefully it'll be all right and it'll, it'll like that oh I am actually going to send the old bird the, the stray uh, straggler that we got put in uh, the other day that I caught a couple of weeks ago the chap rang me back eventually um, and said that he offered me the bird, he said I could have it um, but I, I have all my birds are young birds so I'd just be stuck with one um, year old bird and uh, I mean if I had a breeding loft maybe and you know um, if I had other old birds then maybe I, I would have it, it's a nice bird, he likes flying around here so we shall see, he might end up coming back um, so I'm going to put that in a box because next door to the South Road Club in the other part of that building is the North Road Club and I think they're going up to Weatherby so I'm going to stick it in a box, send it up with them and then hopefully he will um, drive across from Harrogate to Weatherby to pick it up uh, so I'll give him a call later and let him know that that's what I've done.